When you think of evolution, you usually picture apes and cavemen. But as humans evolved, so did our need for comfort. Millions of years ago, our chairs were just rocks and logs. And those logs had bark, which of course turned into bark-o-loungers. See? Evolution. Chairs are everywhere, and their protein designs reveal the morphing yet constant quality of the seat. Just about everyone has a favorite kind. For you, maybe a director's chair. For me, musical chairs. I really do miss that game. At the Henry Ford Museum, there are modern, cozy, exotic, shapely, studded, and curious chairs. So it seemed fitting to sit down with the Henry Ford's chief curator, Mark Gruther, to learn more. To paraphrase the song, a chair is just a chair, or not? Is it more complicated than that? I, I think it is more complicated, and I think there's a kind of human aspect to this. What we've really seen is an evolution, and it's an evolution of materials, sometimes of style, sometimes of marketing, sometimes of expectations. Most experts agree that while there's been little fundamental change in chairs over time, the evolutionary nature of chair design did see a couple of recent revolutionary developments. First, the Eames chairs, bringing innovative designs and clean lines since the 1940s. A husband and wife team, Charles and Ray Eames, are regarded as the foremost American designers of the 20th century, and their talents complemented one another. Charles always used to say that really he came at things from an architectural direction, that was his training, and Ray came at things from a sort of painting and sculptural direction because that had been her beginning. Eames chairs are not just notable for their aesthetic, they really are genuinely well-designed comfort-wise, yes? Absolutely, yes, a huge amount of work went into essentially treating the chair as a, as a host for a guest. The multi-talented Eames were known for their fresh use of materials such as plywood, metal mesh, and fiberglass but also for finding ways to produce these quality goods in high numbers. Another revolutionary development in chair design came around in the 1990s. The office chair was given a major overhaul in the form of the Aeron chair, based on intense human studies and ergonomics. The Aeron chair is like this fascinating combination of very, very traditional ways of doing things aligned with a real awareness of very new materials. There was a very, very deliberate move on the part of Don Chadwick and Bill Stumpf, the co-designers of the Aaron chair, to really rethink the office chair. And it appears to be almost shaped like a person's body. You well, see. absolutely. Um, the, the whole aim of that chair was essentially to disappear. It was supposed to be a non-experience. If there ever was a great equalizer when it comes to chairs, well, it has to be musical chairs. Did you ever play musical chairs? Oh, yeah, I loathed it. Awful. Terrible guy. How can you hate it? Oh, it's high stress. It's a contact sport. It's terrible. No, too much. No, not my thing. I'll sit it out. Thanks. I, I mean, I've, candidly, candidly, I don't remember ever losing at it. It's been about 40 years since I last played musical chairs. OK, I played at my last birthday party, but that doesn't count. I rounded up these guys to play again. I'm getting winded. Oh. 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 There's only one chair left. <laughs> I didn't like those chairs anyway. If they were Eames chairs, I would have gotten one.